Welcome to the Alex Jones Show on this Sunday, September 20th, 2015. I'm David Knight, your host. We are overwhelmed with your support today. We have a article that's up on InfoWars.com. Anti-Globalist Network launches worldwide. That's thanks to your support. We had our money bomb this week, and I guess it was, uh, well, it was about midday yesterday. Uh, we hit the million-dollar mark. Thank you so much for your support. To thank you, we've extended the uh, free shipping and the specials till tonight at midnight. But thank you so much for helping to support this operation. Of course, it's a leap of faith to expand. Anytime you have a business, this is a major financial commitment. It requires a, an investment in new equipment as well as massive operating expenses. Each month, we needed your help to get to that level so that we could, uh, the next part of this game, of course, is getting stations to sign up on this free-to-air process and the instructions on how to do that, where you can help us. It doesn't require any money. It just requires some of your time to help us get these stations on board. Of course, it's going to be offered free-to-air. We'll have some of our commercials. They'll put some of their commercials on, but they need to know that there's interest, that there's an audience there in order for this to get started. We have no doubt in our minds, and I don't believe that you do either as a, as a listener, that we can do well once we get on these stations. We know from past experience when Alex went to Orlando, uh, he immediately shot to the number one position, leapfrogging Rush Limbaugh in that market. That happened for a few months, and it scared the system so much that that station was sold. Uh, that's happened a number of times, as Alex joked. If you want to sell your, your, your station for a huge profit, uh, just put him on there against Rush Limbaugh, and the system will buy you out and convert it to another format. Uh, we saw that happen a number of times. We know we can, uh, we can compete in this free market of ideas. Uh, we are telling something that is very different in our analysis than you're hearing in the mainstream media, than you're hearing in conservative talk radio. It's a very different understanding, different issues that we're taking a look at. Here's some of those issues that we're going to be talking about today. Of course, we're going to look at the top candidates. There's been a lot of developments in the last couple of days on the GOP side. We've had the back and forth with Donald Trump uh, uh, not defending Obama when somebody made a statement about him and the press getting all bent out of shape about it. He rightly said, it's not my responsibility to defend Obama. And of course, if somebody said something negative about me, about Donald Trump, he said, uh, I'm sure that Obama would not feel that it was his responsibility to defend me. Absolutely right. But then Trump went a bit further as he always does. He's not just going to go on the defense, he always goes on the offense. And he says, what you really need to be talking about is the war on Christians. And we're going to talk about that. He's absolutely right about that. We've talked about that many times for a very long time here on InfoWars. We're going to tell you what we've said in the past, what is going on. We're going to tell you that, yes, there is a war on Christians worldwide. There's a war on Christians coming out of Washington, D.C. as well. And this should concern you even if you're not a Christian. It could, should concern you because of the way that it's being done, because it's another example of how the rule of law is being shunned in favor of dictatorship, essentially. The dictatorship of a president, the dictatorship of a bureaucracy, the dictatorship of political correctness. That's why it should concern you, because it's going to be pervasive in a number of other areas. Now, this war of religions, and of course, this is a minefield, and we're not going to tiptoe through it. We're going to go running through it today. Uh, <laughs> so I'm sure that some people are going to get upset about what we have to say, but I'm going to try to explain to you why this is a, a broader uh, issue, not something that is just a war of religions. Uh, earlier today on Meet the Press, they talked to Ben Carson along these same lines, and he made a very controversial statement. He said he didn't believe that a Muslim should be president. We're going to talk about that when we come back, as well as many other topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And we'll have Alex Jones joining us briefly at the top of this hour. We'll be right back. Alex Jones here with my co-host, David Knight, thanking all the Info Warriors who in the last few days made history by donating to the 2015 Operation Money Bomb War Chest. We have raised close to a million dollars that is absolutely essential 
to beam via satellite to thousands of UHF, VHF, and cable stations around North America and all the way down into Central America. The world is hungry for the message of liberty. And one of the favorite refrains of our founding fathers was that all that evil men and tyrants need to flourish is that good men and women do nothing. So we're not claiming that we're gonna save the world by doing this, but together taking action in little ways, small ways, big ways, huge ways, we are going to change the course of history. What the globalists are doing is incredibly unpopular. It's illegal, it's tyrannical. Whether it's harvesting baby parts worldwide and China selling organs, uh, whether it's the forced inoculation agenda planetary wide, whether it's funding radical Islamic groups to destabilize areas of the world, it's all criminal and it's all run by the same people. So because we've done the research, because we know who the enemy is, it's our responsibility to not just sit here and reach 20, 30 million people a week. So we're launching the first phase of a program to eventually have satellites covering free to air the entire populated world. And we've built the team now with David Knight and the other reporters and anchors and the journalists and the investigative researchers and the writers to really give the globalists a run for their money. We're about to update Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com with new, more modern designs. We're about to launch a lot of new things here. But I just wanted to thank all of you who did donate, who bought the products in the last two days because you've raised almost a million dollars. But it's been three years since we've had a fundraiser. And I want to actually reach our goal of a million dollars. We need to do it to be able to get a couple more reporters, some of the more expensive equipment we need. We've paid for the satellite, we've paid for the closed captioning, we've paid for a lot of the groundwork to get this going. We're already up on the satellite, affiliates are already tuning in, already signing on right now. So thank God and thank all of you. But now we need to go to that next level to ensure that over the next 12 months, we're able to complete this operation. And my plan is to then make it self-sufficient and we'll never have another fundraiser again. We may. It was three years since I had another one. We want to, again, not be under the control of sponsors, not be under the control uh, of uh, outside advertisers. We want to be independent selling high quality products that you believe in, that you use, that you like. But occasionally we do come to you to ask us to help bring this operation to the next level. But you've got to feel really good right now knowing that you've done that. And we've pretty much reached our goals. But in the interest of that, we want to extend the sales, massive sales of upwards of 20% off, free shipping, you name it, on hundreds of items at InfoWarsStore.com. You can also call 888-253-3139. We're gonna run that through Friday, Saturday, into Sunday at six o'clock Central Standard Time. David's gonna be hosting the Sunday show this weekend. And when it ends, we will have to turn off those specials because we're contractually through some of these uh, suppliers unable to continue to offer some of these products at the prices we're offering uh, because it hurts the competition a little too much. So again, I wanna thank you all. I wanna invite you to to double down on this revolution against tyranny, or if you haven't donated, or if you haven't checked out the great products at InfoWarsStore.com, I want to invite you to check it out. David Knight, uh, you've been here three years. We don't use teleprompters. We don't script this. I just called you in here five minutes ago and said, I want to thank everybody. I want to encourage them uh, to be part of this. Uh, this is historic what we're doing. And, and I wanted you, I'm telling you now, to speak to what it's been like for you being here three years uh, and where you see the info war going uh, from this point because you didn't win a contest five years ago you entered but out of that we offered to hire you you move your family down here from the Carolinas and, and I want you to share your experience teleprompter free unscripted of what it's been like and have a message for folks but most importantly I wanted to thank you as representative of the listeners who don't just stand as I've said beside us but at the heart of what we're doing David Knight was a listener and a family man and a business owner and an engineer and he pulled up stakes and came down here and now he's hosting the show now he's reaching to of millions and so he's a microcosm of what supporting ideas does 
Evil's only winning because good men and women haven't got off the bench in the fight. So David, I want you to close this out, spend a few minutes, but I love you well, and your family, and I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. It's amazing Thank you. to work with such great people. Thank you so much. And I, I can tell you that what I've seen here in this amount of time is how Alex is pouring this back into expanding the information outreach. We're not sitting on a hoard of gold like some kind of a dragon. He is investing this. I've seen massive changes, not only expansion in the number of personnel, but also expansion in the studios that we put there, which is essential for us to be able to reach out to people, to have something that looks professional. People won't tune in and listen to it. If you're trying to reach somebody that's never heard this message before, you've got a lot of obstacles in front of you because they've never heard these this kind of information before. They're getting a very different story from the, uh, the planned information that's coming out of the mainstream media. And so when we hit them with very different information, if we look extremely different, that's very difficult for us to reach them. So we have to have a certain way to present it. We have to have certain ways that we can reach out to people. That's what I've seen Alex doing is investing in this all out. As I said before, when we saw what happened uh, with Sandy Hook, we knew what was going to be done with this. We knew this was a massive push to take away the Second Amendment. We know how important all of our rights are, but we know that the Second Amendment is guaranteeing these other rights as well. And I remember how it was, it was like this money bomb effort. For a couple of weeks at the very beginning, it was just around the clock, pushing back against this. What can we do? How can we expose where they're going with this? What they're doing with this? So we've seen this happen over and over again. It's gonna happen again. There's been multiple times since I've been here that we have made a difference. You passing our information along, you being a subscriber to the nightly news when we were fighting against these expansions in the war on Syria, when they had the false flag attacks with the sarin gas, we explained that to people. We were leading the fight and explaining to people what was really going on there. Now it's breaking that our government has been working with Chechen rebels, bringing them in, training them, and injecting them into Syria, going back to 2012. Mainstream media is reporting that now, reporting the fact that we have American troops on the ground in Syria a day after everybody was saying it's so dangerous and provocative that Putin is saying he's going to put Russian troops there. So it's very important. It has real world consequences for all of us to understand what is behind this, what is happening. That's why it is imperative for all of us to understand what's going on and to warn our neighbors what's going on. There's been so many issues on which InfoWars has been a real game changer, where we've made a real difference with you, with your support. That's why it's vital for you to join with us and support us now. Thank you so much for standing with us. Thank you so much for your support. Let's get that last bit of effort to finish this off. For InfoWars Nightly News and for the Alex Jones Radio Show, I'm David Knight. And again, thank you so much for your help. Sometime yesterday, we reached the goal of $1 million. Thank you so much for that. And as a thank you, Alex has extended free shipping on anything you want to get at the store until midnight tonight. It is very, very important that you've stood with us, and we cannot thank you enough. Your support is absolutely overwhelming. Now, help us get on these stations. You can find that information there at the Money Bomb. There's a PDF to download to let you know if you have a satellite uh, system where you can listen to this directly, how you can do that, but also how you can approach stations and let them know there's an interest in your area. That is vital. We're confident that if we get on the stations in those areas that we will do very well. We've seen this happen in the past, and we know that it will happen as well. As I mentioned in the last segment, just looking at the experience that Alex had with radio in Orlando, going head-to-head -head with Alex Jones on a station there, immediately shot to number one. And, of course, that station got sold right away after just a couple of months of that happening. They got sold and uh, changed the format of that station. So Alex has joked, if you want to uh, make a profit on your station, just carry his uh, radio program and you're likely to get uh, sold and changed over to another format just to get him off, just to get him off of the competition. Because we have a message that the mainstream media, whether it's conservative or liberal, does not want you to hear. They have a very narrow, controlled narrative that they want to feed you, a very controlled uh, this or that narrative is uh, either this one or that one. But there are so many issues and the bigger picture that they do not want you to see. Here's some of the news that we're going to be covering today. Of course, there's the back and forth between Trump versus Obama, the war on Christians. We're also going to be looking at the comments that Ben Carson made today earlier on Meet the Press about whether or not there should be a Muslim president. 
We've got the United States preparing for a new war against Russia. And guess what? The U.S. keeps losing in these war games. We have a host of issues we're going to talk about today. Donald Trump released a new position paper on the Second Amendment. We're going to break that down for you. Earlier this morning on Meet the Press, Ben Carson was asked if a Muslim could be president. We're going to talk about his comments on that. But before we get to those issues, I want to uh, go over this back and forth that's been developing over the last several days between Trump and the press, and I would say also Obama, of course, he took a lot of flack because a man stood up at one of the rallies and said, you know, Obama's a Muslim. He's not even an American citizen. We've got these camps all over the place. What are you going to do about this? And the media was absolutely livid that he did not reprimand.